Hello, this is Brad, and today I am going to give a tutorial on how to use the channel mixer. First, let's start with a simple flame. And do, 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 do. Bring this up here. Okay. And then let's come down here to color. Let's pick a different gradient. Something that has a bunch of different colors in it. I like that one. Let's pick a different one here. Yeah, okay, this one looks good. So, we click on Channel Mixer. Come to the Mixer Mode. Go to Full. You can see red, green, and blue. The slanted lines here are the ones that control the main color. So this one here is for red. This one here is for green. And this one here is for blue. So if we want to bring out a little bit more red, you'll see this turn more red. If you want to lower the red, you can see that here. And I I have found that the middle box controls the color the most. You want to bring this back up. Here it makes it more red but at a different interval as the middle one. So if we bring this down, you can see this like here, this is red, this is red, this is green. Compared to here, now, like this part is red, and this is part is red, this part is red. Now I've lowered this one and now it is this it's not as red as the other as it was before. Now if you wanted to add a little bit more blue, bring out the blue in it. Change it to the top here. Now you can see that the blue is a lot more prominent and if I wanted to just make it blue I would lower the red here
now as you can see there's hardly any red but you can still see the blue which is most prominent and some green and all three of these lines control the color in some way that um So this is red, 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 green, 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 and blue, blue, blue. So let's try seeing what happens when I raise the middle on the second red. Now here's what has happened is the red has mixed with the green to make uh, a more purplish color here. This so the three here are the primary. The other ones act as a mix, which makes it a, a, a mixer. So if you want to add more blue, not more red to the blue, now it's almost more of a pink color. Reset some of these here. Which is uh, this down. Now this is pretty much the way we had it. Oh, it's gone a little bit more. So let's say we wanted to mix a little bit more blue with the red here. And it gives us um, a lot more bluish on the red channel. Compared to if we put red. on the blue channel it gives it more of a, a pinkish color. Let's see what happens when we up the green. So if we up the green, bring down the red. Actually kind of like this. Now uh, since I have mixed the red and green with the blue it has given me a yellow color and if I raise the red it has brought out the more of the red my I prefer to go with the red and blue because that's just my preference. I guess I'm not too big of a green fan, but let's see what happens if we reset these. And let's up the green. So this is what it looks like now. The green's down here and up here. So let's try mixing the blue and green. Oh, I like this. This is a nice little aquamarine color. Why don't we do this?
so basically what is happening here is it's splitting the image by colors into different parts and it is breaking the pixels into different colors so um That is about, oh, wait a minute. Also, you can click on these, and this will give a motion curve where you can actually add more points for more detail of a color. So you see now it has split up the image, and now this part up here is more red. Let's add another point. So here, let's bring it down. And it will give you a preview down here. This is what it looks like now. Let's uh, see how this looks rendered. So now you see how it has broken up or, or split the colors up more than it being a solid color it is now more of a uh, um, pixel by pixel color if that makes any sense which I hope it does um, my best suggestion is um, just play around with them and see what happens um one thing i have noticed is that with the editing motion curve uh you cannot uh when animating it does not animate the colors which i wish it would but um it does not so let's see how this looks one more time And that will do that for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. For now, this is Brad. Bye-bye.